And back on Talk of the Town, and I actually invited our next guest down because I was looking for a reason to do some day drinking, and <laughs> I didn't want anybody to judge me. So that's why she's here as we bring in Jamie Duffy from Driftless Glen Distillery and Restaurant in Baraboo. And welcome on in, Jamie. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on in, and we'll get to, to that bottle that's sitting there in just a little bit. But uh, could you share with us at least, uh, what, what is Driftless Glen Distillery and the restaurant, what, what is it all about? It's gorgeous, by the way. I mean, absolutely fabulous building. What, what's it all about? How did it come about? So we're a craft distillery trying to keep to craft standards, um, meaning we use local grain. We do everything grain to glass. Nothing's outsourced. Um, and then we just wanted to make it more of an experience than just a place that makes booze. So we made an amazing restaurant, bar, tours, event space. It's right on the river. So really, you can spend a whole day there and have a blast. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's like right on the river, a stone's throw away from the square in Baraboo. And Baraboo's such a pretty town anyways. It just all it kind of fits there, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, it's, it's perfect how you guys did it. So um, you make spirits. You make booze. Um, so what, what types that of spirits do. do you make? So we make a lot of spirits. Um, we kind of wanted to touch every aspect of the booze industry. So we go with okay. vodka, gin. Uh, moonshine, brandy, bourbon, and rye whiskey. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So the only thing we're missing is like tequila and rum, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you'll get to that one day. You never know. Uh, kind of hard to make tequila with local stuff, wouldn't, wouldn't it be? Or? Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of our issue and why we don't do rum as well. We'd have to use molasses. So we try and keep everything very local when possible. Very cool. Always cool when you can, you know, drink Wisconsin basically in, right. in a bottle. So that's the idea behind it. Love it. Yeah. So I've I've also heard great things about your restaurant, seen the restaurant. Um, can you tell me a little bit and elaborate on the on the menu, on, on the cuisine that you guys serve? Yeah, we didn't want to be just a burger joint. Um, so we tried to get a little finer dining, but it's still um, we just still do have burgers, flatbreads, but then we try to incorporate our spirits into things like a brandy glazed salmon, mm. uh, using our Driftless Glen brandy. And then um, we don't believe in a deep fryer, so all our ingredients are fresh. Um, so I think the food there is amazing. Terrific, yeah, sounds good. Now, there seems to be, and there was this you know, craft beer boom, and maybe that's still going on. You see a lot, a lot of, well, like little wineries popping up and stuff like that, too. Now, all of a sudden, it's distilleries. Um, so you see them start popping up, you know, everywhere, which is a great thing. I mean, it's a great time to be a drinker. It uh, is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, so if you, uh, you know, talking about distilleries, what kind of sets you apart from other distilleries that are out there? Yeah, so I think, you know, it's been blowing up as far as distilleries across the nation. Just in Wisconsin, we had like 10 in the past year or two open up. And I think the big difference is our whiskey production. So a lot of craft distilleries don't have uh, the capital. So they can only put up you know five barrels a month mm -hmm. or something like that. And with the whiskey shortage in America right now, because everyone's loving it and drinking it all, right, all yeah. we're producing eight barrels a day, which is averaging out with some days we're not producing out of the year, averaging to about 2,000 barrels a year. Oh, wow. Okay. So very soon we'll be having whiskey all over. So if I'm not in Baraboo or didn't make the trip to Baraboo, where can I find uh, your, your whiskey? Where can I find all, all of your spirits at? So currently we are just in Wisconsin. Uh, in Madison alone, you can find us at Riley's Wines of the World, Steve Liquor, Star Liquor, and then we just started getting out into the Milwaukee area, so you'll be seeing it all over soon. Good for you, yeah. So what, what's your favorite spirit out of all of them? Definitely our double cast gin, the which is what you I brought, brought you today. Okay. All right, so let's let's so check this out. A little. Okay. Yeah, because I think you know our, our viewers might be confused. You know, like I think of gin, I think of something clear. Yeah. And so, so this all of a sudden to me looks like a bourbon. It looks like like a brown liquor. So, so why is it first of all not clear? Well, so I am a whiskey girl. I couldn't drink gin at first, and I got into drinking gin by going through barrel aged gin. So this is a comes as a clear spirit to start. What we do is we put it in a new charred oak barrel and then a used bourbon barrel simultaneously, simultaneously age it. Um, so it's really just the the charred oak inside the barrel that's giving it that color. But you're going to taste sort of bourbon, sort of gin. So okay. it's very interesting. I always Perfect. say um, to drink this, if you want to use it in a cocktail, all you got to do is... Uh, replace it for any rum drink or any normal gin. Pour me some, this will be the perfect way to go out. <laughs> and so, 
Cheers to you. Thanks to Driftless Glenn. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, thank you so much for being on. We'll have more talk in the top.